Hi guys, bargain store project time again. I've used these coils of speaker wire a couple of times in my projects in the past. So I'll have another go now. See if I can make some sort of electromagnet and see if we can have some fun with it. I had to cut some bolts out of some wooden fencing or gates the other day. So I got these iron, or at least I hope they're iron. They're certainly rusting like iron. Um, bolts. So plan is wrap the speaker wire around one of these and see what sort of a magnet it makes. And then see if we can do something with it. OK, all wound on. I've just taped a battery on the back. I've got a layer of tape over it all to hold it in place anyway, stop it unravelling. I've got a little micro switch on the top at the moment. That's just hanging in the breeze, just so I can temporarily switch it on and off for demonstration purposes. So hopefully, if I press the button... Okay, so we have a working electromagnet. So I have an idea for a little game or a toy. Uh, I saw one in a book the other day, gave me an idea. I shan't make it exactly the same as the one in the book. Um, but very simply, all we do is we have this electromagnet swinging in the breeze. You pick up a disc with it, or a washer, and you have to release it at just the right point so it falls on a number and score the number that you land on. So you have a row of numbers, and obviously you want to try and make a high score. So I've got to make an arch to suspend this from, and a board with numbers on it to try and score on. And I'll make that switch somewhere where you can get hold of it on the edge of the board. To make the arch, I think I shall disassemble this chap, my flying saucer, because then I can have pretty lights all the way around the arch. What I should do is just cut a big centre section out of here and then hot glue that to the board with the numbers on and that'll be the the playing board. Right, I've simplified the playing board a bit. Just a bit of cardboard cut from a supermarket um, packaging. So the idea will be for this to be swinging inside my lighted arch. So you'll just swing it backwards and forwards. You'll have a washer on the bottom there, which you'll be holding in place with the electromagnet. And you've got to try and get it to drop into one of the holes. So you can decide what score you want. Ten points for getting it in the hole. One point for getting it there, and zero points for anywhere in the black. Or negative points if you want to be really nasty. So I'll rig up something to hang this from. Tidy up my little lights for my lighted arch. Put the battery and a switch somewhere that you can get hold of it. Over there, I should think. And then we can try it out. Okay. All up together. I've actually turned the lights off so you can see the illuminated arch. <laughs> if 
for no good reason other than I've got an illuminated arch there. And that's our swinging electromagnet. Let's put this down and see if we can see how it works. I have to put the other lights on. Woohoo, a bit bright. Come back a bit. Right then. Probably politically incorrect, but I've made some metal shapes to try and drop into the holes. So let's see if we can demonstrate. Okay, one in place. Let it swing. Missed. Try the next one. Position it a bit. Oh, straight in the hole. I don't know if you can see it there. So, 10 points for that. And 0 points for that one. Not the most exciting game in the world, but I'm sure it's the sort of thing that my grandchildren will play with. Uh, bearing in mind the two boys are 4 years old, it's possibly the sort of thing that will catch their attention. Simple, just a button to press and uh, shapes to drop into the holes. Missed again. I'm sure I could have done better. Um, quick summary, what did we do? We used this 10 meter stereo speaker wire and wrapped it round an old iron bolt that I'd got. It does work. It's not the best electromagnet I've ever made. In fact, I made that one with some different wire but the same bulb, uh, bulb, bolt. And that one's much stronger. But being as we started the project with this wire, we've finished the project with this wire. And it works. Um, if I did it again I'd probably make a taller arch. So there's a bit more of a swing to the uh, electromagnet. But it works. And it's something completely different to anything else I've made in my bargain store projects. So we'll see if anybody likes it. I suppose I could have just used a bit of grandad trickery and gone... I don't suppose that would fool anybody.